Hello, Jody. Nice to see you. You as well. Always good to see you. Well, I could never see you, but I just have to lie there, you know? I love that. Always the blind jokes with Donovan. You are so <laughs> cool in that regard. Because you have had such great success and you challenge yourself, blindness does not own you Definitely at all. Not. Definitely not. Tell us about your Olympic experiences to this point. We got some great B-roll for our viewers to see. Oh, it's been amazing. I started out in Sydney when I was 16 years old, winning a bronze medal there, and then two silvers and a bronze in uh, in Athens four years later. Uh, another bronze in Beijing when I actually had the honor of carrying the flag for Canada, which was incredible, incredibly heavy, I must say too. Really? Uh, yeah. I just the, the whole setup is me walking into the bird's nest uh, with the cane in my right hand and the flag in a lanyard in my left hip. My poor dad is behind me trying to direct me madly and saying, oh, don't drag the flag on the ground. Don't run <laughs> to the person in front. <laughs> the pressure, dad. The pressure, you're right. They, they, they look at pictures and think that I look rather relaxed and he looked rather tense, which was not far from the truth. And then I, I recently competed, of course, in the London Paralympics and uh, it was, was seventh and eighth. Most of us who swim, I, you know I love to swim. Mm -hmm. Donovan and I go way back. He's we my do. insurance guy. Yeah. Uh, how do you, how do you as a challenged person when it comes to sight, I find it difficult to swim straight. Is it a skill that you learn over time or how did you get into it? If somebody wants to do this who is blind, how do they follow in your footsteps? Well, there's, I guess, a two-part question. How do I t swim straight? Basically, I try to stick to one side of the pool, so follow along the lane rope and just right. make sure I can check it every couple of strokes. Gotcha. I've got somebody at each end of the pool with this big stick with a foam Q-tip on the end called the tapper. They whack me on the head, so that's where I know where the wall is. That'll help. And yeah, it does help. <laughs> uh, it's worse when they miss. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole other story, but if you want to get involved in competitive swimming, I would suggest uh, contact your, your local uh, swim club, and uh, we have a great national program led by uh, Craig McCord, who's been the national coach for over a decade now. And uh, I, I would very much like to see more uh, people with disabilities, especially more blind people, get into the sport of swimming, especially considering now where we're at today with me. And, and where are we at today with you, with your special announcement? What is your announcement today, Donovan? After 14 years on the national team, I've come to the, the difficult decision that uh, it's time to retire from the sport of swimming. And I've, I've given it my best shot. I still love the sport. Uh, I could keep going, but honestly, I think the time is right for me just to step away from the sport with, with head held high and, and focus on other aspects of my life. You have represented our country so well in that regard, so we thank you for your service as an Olympian as you step back from swimming. But uh, as we were talking about this yesterday, because you did want to make this announcement on BT, mm -hmm. We thought, okay, well, what's next for Donovan? And then a couple of us were thinking perhaps politics? It's come up. You know, I, I, it's, I gotta say, Peter Armstrong has approached me uh, to run for Parks Board, uh, as did Suzanne Anton three years ago. Uh, and honestly, it's, it's, it's still being considered the worst possible thing I could do is is run and get elected just as the token blind guy. Mm -hmm. I, I If I'm going to go for park sport, it's got to be for the right reasons. I've got to be more up on the issues. I've got to have a better understanding of what I'm standing for. Uh, and I'm going to be making that decision over the next week. Although I was at the NPA Celebrate uh, dinner last night, which was phenomenal. Uh, and I do support do support what they do. Um, I, in, in terms of other things that I have coming up, focus on my business, building my insurance business, uh, focus on building uh, up my uh, portfolio as a keynote speaker. I was actually just at in Prince George with the SPCA speaking over the weekend and did a, an event with the Board of Trade about a month ago. But I think most importantly, I've, I've got to find more ways to give back to the community because I've been very blessed to have what I have had and be surrounded with some great people. And you know, I was looking at the statistics the other day and the close to 80, 85% of blind Canadians are unemployed or underemployed. What? I know. It's, 85%? It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't understand how that's even possible. Uh, I've got to read more into that. But but if I could find some way, get more blind Canadians, more blind Vancouverites into successful jobs, positions like I've had. Um, you I'm are really helpful. good at your job. <laughs> As my insurance guy for how many years now? Four years? Four years. Four years. Keeps me honest. He's like, Jody, get on it. You're, you need to get in here and renew. And we forgot one and you were right on me. It's that's like right. you cannot go one hour without being insured. So we love that. You can find you uh, up at 10th and Alma, right? That's right. And it's all about 
relationship. People can buy insurance anywhere, but it's all about the building relationship. relationships with people. And and whatever business I'm in, I'm a people person. You and are. That's what I care most about. And if I could some way find a way to give back more to to blind people and other aspects of the community, then I think I will have added more of a service aspect to my life. Donovan has a great website that you might want to check out: limitlesssite.ca. Limitlessvision.ca. Limit, 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 vision. There you go. Oh, that's why we didn't give you the braille copy. You couldn't read it. I'm, yeah, I've got to get my prescription checked. Seriously, <laughs> honestly, the readers. Yeah. Uh, but seriously, Donovan, uh, early happy 30th birthday. Yes. You homeowner. You're moving I, into your yes, first home. I, well, I hope it's built by the time I'm 30. But uh, <laughs> I, I bought it back in uh, about over a year ago on Broadway in Collingwood, and they've had some delays. But um, they're saying by the time I'm 30, there's going to be a you know a toilet in there and a sink, and uh, that'll help. At least livable, yeah. Yes. Always the comedian. Always a pleasure to have here, Donovan. Thank you so Thank much you, Jody. for coming on the show, announcing his retirement mm -hmm. from swimming, but kickstarting so much more. And you're very young, 30 years old, and doing so much. Yeah. Very impressive. <laughs> Maybe you will write a book.